channel. It's been a long, long, long time. It was completely unintentional, though, I swear. I meant to be away only for a few weeks, but my new job ended up being a little more demanding than I anticipated, so I haven't gotten around and had the energy to do a video until now. But today I'm going to do a tutorial for a naturally beautiful look. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the look I have today. It's just a very neutral, very natural look without being completely barefaced. Just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of polish on those days where maybe you don't have a whole lot of time or you don't feel like being too overly sparkly and fancy. Um, and the whole look is really great for days you wake up late because it, the whole look takes five to ten minutes to do. Um, it'll probably take a little bit longer because I'm talking as I'm doing it. I also have some other news. I have launched a blog for Carte Blanche Beauty. The link is down below. I'm not really entirely sure what all I'm going to do with it. Stuff that's not really going to be appropriate for a YouTube video per se, but things that you might be interested in anyway. I actually bought a little thing for makeup storage and I decided it was boring so I decorated it and I thought that could be something that you guys would be interested in is how to personalize your various makeup storage items but I didn't feel it'd be really a good YouTube video because it would take a while and you have to wait for things to dry and all that fun stuff so I took pictures and did a blog post on it explaining what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and then so you can see a before and after picture and if you like it it tells you what the products are and where you can find them so you can recreate them and there are even some less expensive alternatives of products I use that you can use if you want to spend a little less money on certain things so check that out um, there isn't a whole ton there just yet, but I'm working on it, and I think I'm going to do one for my brush holders that I just did. So, yeah, check that out, and please, if you like me, follow me. Um, I don't really have any followers yet, except myself. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but anyway, enough rambling on about blogs and various things. Let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so my face is completely bare right now, just moisturized. So I'm going to start with my concealer. And the concealer I have today is Revlon Photo Ready. My shade is 003, light to medium. And I'm just going to use this under my eyes on the outer corner because there's a little discoloration there and I don't really notice it until I apply the concealer. Do the same on the other side. Then I have some pimples today so I'm going to just conceal those. Do the same up here. Oh yeah, there's one over here. And I'm just going to blend that out. And that looks pretty good, I think. So, the next thing after I've concealed and blended out my concealer is I'm going to go in with my base or my foundation, as it were, because I use a powder. And this one's the Physician's Formula Talc Free Mineral Wear Face Powder. And this color is Buff Beige, it's my summer shade. I'm just going to put this big chubby brush that I just got the other day. So this is the first time I'm using it, so exciting. And I'm just going to sort of do a nice all over thing. Go down on my chin, make sure everything matches on the forehead. clouds are rolling in. Next I'm going to do my eye makeup. 
I'm using a L'Oreal Wear Infinity Quad in Wood Rose. These are tricky to find. I did see one in Kmart not too long ago, but I haven't really seen these anywhere else. But it's a nice matte quad, so as long as you have something similar, it's just fine. So I'm going to take the lightest taupe shade, which is this one here, and I'm going to apply that as a base from my lash line up to my brow bone. Do the same to the other side so we match. Next, I'm going to take the slightly darker taupe, which is this shade here, and that I'm going to go from my lash line to my crease. Just add a little definition. Ooh, that weather's angry. I'm going to take the pale pink over here and use that as a highlight shade on the brow bone right under the eyebrows and then on the inner corner and if you're really tired you can also grab a shimmery color to add to the inner tear duct area next I'm going to go with the dark brown color I'm going to Apply this to the outer corner of my eye, and this one requires a little more detail, so I'm just going to concentrate it on the outer corner there and dust it a little into the crease. You can see that? Just how it adds just a little extra. I need to do the same on the other eye, naturally. And the last thing I'm going to do with this palette is take my angled eyeliner brush and just dip it and line my top lashes. You could also use a wet brush for a little more color concentration, but I don't always feel that feel I want that and I don't feel like I want it today. I'm just going to line the top lash just to add a little bit extra thickness finish this off, I'm going to take an eyebrow brush. This one's by e.l.f. Brush my eyebrows so they're all groomed and in place. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and then add a coat of mascara. This one's Organic Wear from Physician's Formula in Black Organics. So I'm going to curl And mascara. Now I'm going to move down to my cheeks and I'm just going to use the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. I just got this. I'm just going to dip it in a little bit of the bronzer and go under my cheekbones because you really don't need a whole lot of the bronzer in order to contour and I don't need to usually do a lot of contouring anyway I just mainly focus on my cheekbones See how it just adds a little bit of definition. Then I'm also going to take it into my temple area. And just a little. Go a little under my chin. Now I'm going to use the blush side and on my blush brush and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks just to give a little bit of color. Do the same to the other side. All that fun stuff. 
Then for lips, I'm going to use a tinted lip balm because I don't really want to do a whole lot. I don't want anything super shiny or super glittery or super pigmented. So I'm using a tinted lip balm. This is by Burt's Bees. The color is hibiscus. Just adds a hint of color. And then just to finish off and to aid in setting, I'm going to use a translucent mattifying powder. This one's by Hard Candy. It's their mattifying, welcome mat mattifying powder. And that's that. It's just a very neutral, very natural looking face look that you can wear when you're going on a job interview or if you want to do sort of a natural look without being completely barefaced. And you're good to go. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.